in real life was the day we moved in here. Oh my God, this place is like five times the size of Vancouver. Actually four times the size. It's so big. I'm in our kitchen in Vancouver. I was a little bit uneasy about that. We did walk through on Skype, but uh, we kind of didn't have any other choice. We came down a couple of times. We were gonna buy a house, didn't really work out. And then we couldn't really find a good rental while we were here and then we couldn't get into a lot of them anyway. So we ended up landing on this place. It's three times the size of our Vancouver apartment. It's two bedrooms, two bathrooms, in this area. Moving in here, the walls were like kind of a creamy white color. The island was turquoise and uh, if you guys know me, I'm not like a big fan of color, except for I do like this navy couch. So I asked our landlord if we could paint and he said yes, um, with the intention of painting back before we move out. So we decided to go with a dark moody gray. Uh, we use this color in St. John's. We're really a big fan of it. I like the way it feels, it looks, it's really cozy, but being too dark is called Gray by Benjamin Moore. Yes, that is the actual name of the color. When we paint, we always go with a matte finish. One of our favorite finishes is uh, the Ultimate from Benjamin Moore. It's washable, it's durable. In episode 30, I talked a bit about my plans for this space, and now it is finally done. So I wanna show you guys what I ended up doing in here. So because the island is so big and it has a little kitchen table coming off of it, we have enough seating there for about seven people. We don't entertain that often. So I didn't feel the need to put a, an additional kitchen table here. So what I decided to do was break up the living space into two functional spaces. So I had the living area, which is anchored by a large rug. So this is kind of like TV area where we can kind of sit down and watch Netflix and hang out. You'll recognize some of this furniture from our Vancouver apartment. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. It's kind of the fun thing about shopping your own belongings when you move into a new place. You don't have to use all of the things that you use in your other rooms in the same room. So why not switch it up a little bit, change up the look. The couch is apartment size, so it's nice and small, but because our Buffalo apartment is a lot bigger, like three times the size of our Vancouver apartment, this was not enough in the living room. So we added the Elk chair, one of my favorite places to have coffee in the morning. I got a little two-tier side table that's from EQ3. Pillows are Marameco, they're also from EQ3. They're probably one of my favorites. You might've seen those in our bedroom in Vancouver. I decided to move them out here because I have different ideas for the bedroom, which you will see shortly. A lot of the candles are scented like, like cedar. This one is cedar and sandalwood. That one over there is like tobacco and something else. We really like those kind of woodsy manly scents. This is the TV area. Back here, we've got more of a lounging area where we have the bookcase with our books, the record player, and then the rocking chair with a lamp over it. The rocker is from Gus Modern. I never thought I'd ever own a rocker. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you and so glad I have it because it's very comfortable and cozy. I love sitting in it. Uh, it's just a bit of a different scenery from like the living area or the office. Our apartment is only two bedrooms. There's not a lot of places to go. So this kind of allows us to have a couple of different spaces to hang out in, in the one big space. Most of the products you're gonna see in our house are from either Gus Modern, EQ3, or CB2. And then you'll see a scattered few Ikea items in the mix as well. If you guys have seen this shelf, you probably recognize it from a lot of our videos. We did a little Ikea hack, so we added the wood vinyl on some of the glass shelves. Got a lot of questions about the record holder. That is from EQ3. Uh, it's a magazine slash record basket situation. That's where it's from. When we moved to Buffalo, there's no real coffee shops really close. I have a lot of counter space, so I did dedicate a corner to my coffee area. So I have my sugar and my tea, my coffee, and then a number of different syrups and stuff like that in the cupboard below. Prints on the wall here are from my sister. She actually made them, which is really cool. I will link her blog in the description box below where you can see these prints. We kind of use every inch of this living space. It's kind of the perfect size. 
that is our living space. Um, there is a little patio, but you know, we're still getting snow and rain in April. And I shouldn't be used to this because I am from Newfoundland, but I'm not. Oh yeah, it's not great. But I did buy a bunch of stuff for the patio, so I'm really looking forward to getting out there when the weather gets better and doing that. Office is still a work in progress. It's almost done. Bedroom, we're gonna do a full vlog on that shortly. So. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Shout out to my grandmother, my nanny. She knit me this blanket. This is one of my favorite things that I own. My nan is just the best. I love her and I miss her very much.